Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Karlberg and today we're going to be having a look at the price of gold. Now in the last week or so, the Fed Reserve and inflation has been the common talking points with CPI figures rising and rising unexpectedly higher than what the market was anticipating. This has caused some to price in the potential for a 100 basis point hike and causing a lot of fears of a, of a recession within the US and globally, and this has caused a lot of volatility with the price of gold. So as we can see, as we move over to the charts, the first thing we're going to have a look at is this weekly chart. So having a look at the weekly chart, we can see we've got a long term um, top, rather, um, and that's at about $2,070. And we haven't been able to breach that. And similarly, we've got a long term uh, support zone at about $1,660. Um, and that's really where we're testing at the moment. If you look as well, we can also see that we are resting just above the 200 week moving average, which has obviously been an important area of support um, in really tough times. And very rarely um, do we, we haven't often dropped below that, it only really one kind of specific instance between 2011 to 24 uh, to 2015. So that's really our long term picture. You can also see that we've been holding this kind of top of this uh, zone really for the last two or three, two and a half years. Um, so a break of that would obviously be very significant. Again, we can also see that we have a nice, we're, we are in a bit of a downtrend at the moment. Um, and this is also very similar to the downtrend that we saw in 2020 um, before we found support at, in this zone as well. So there's a little bit of history repeating itself. Um, you can see we're in this channel just over here. So you can see that we're in that similar zone. So as we look at the daily chart, we're just going to swing in there. And we've drawn up our support and resistance zone similar to what we had before. And as we can see, Again, we've constant we've tested this zone quite a few times now. This is going on really that we're looking at the four. This is the fifth time we've tested this kind of support zone. The difference is that each time um, we haven't been really at this point in a downward trend or a downward channel. So previously we did test. This is probably the most um, similar kind of instance of where we uh, tested. We were in this downtrend. And we saw this double bottom and we pushed back up. So we may be looking for a potential double bottom here before potentially going back up. Or if the market is bearish, especially with the Fed set to um, unveil uh, interest rate changes later this week, we may see another drop. And a drop through this channel may be quite significant as it starts to take out stops. So if we were to go short, we would be looking at a target of about 15.50. Um, but bear in mind, this should be provide quite a bit of re, uh, resistance to get through first. Just having a look at the RSI, we can also see that we're in this sharp little um, downwards kind of slope here, and we are getting to that oversold region. Looking at the moving averages, we're well below the 50 and the 200 day moving averages, which is obviously quite a bearish signal. So just bear in mind that any off, any bounce may be sold into straight away, and we are still looking for this break of the support level. So just watch that carefully. Although we have obviously bounced in the last few days, um, still looking to go short here most likely. But again, just be wary of the news events later this week that could affect the market. But there you go, guys. Thanks for watching and good luck trading.